This is BB-8. BB-8 was an inquisitive little BB unit who served in the resistance alongside his master and friend, Poe Dameron. After being split from Poe on Jakku, BB-8 continued his companion's mission, which led him to the scavenger, Rey. This chance meeting set in motion events that shaped the galaxy forever. This is BB-9E. This malicious little BB unit served the First Order aboard the Mega-Class Star Dreadnought, the Supremacy. Unlike the charming BB-8, BB-9E was cold and calculated. He was certainly a droid you don't want to cross. This is GAR-8, R2-B1, R2-M3, and R2-R9. These droids are brave and serve the Royal House of Naboo, alongside fellow astromech R2-D2. These droids were aboard the Naboo Royal Starship when Queen Amidala fled the invasion of her planet. After receiving damage, these droids were called into action to make vital repairs so Her Majesty could safely escape. This is K3-R1. This uniquely colored astromech belonged to former spice runner, Zori Bliss. When the Resistance needed reinforcements during the Battle of Exegol, Zori's Y-Wing came soaring into action. Deployed in the ship's astromech socket, K3-R1 was one of the many that took part in the galaxy's most crucial battle. This is R2-A6. One of the droids that serves the Royal House of Naboo, R2-A6 is Rick Ollier's good luck charm. He accompanied his master as Bravo Flight made their attack on the Trade Federation battle station. They both avoided defeat once again, and Naboo was successfully liberated. This is R2-D2. This plucky little astromech has been witness to some of the galaxy's biggest conflicts, from the Clone Wars to both the Galactic Empire and the First Order's reigns. R2-D2 is a loyal and feisty droid whose love for adventure knows no bounds. Welcome to Exegol. This is R2-KT. The droid with the heart of gold, R2-KT is a universally loved astromech droid that not only served the Republic during the Clone Wars, but now aids the Resistance in their battle with the First Order. This is R2-Q5. Black with bronze plating, R2-Q5 is a striking looking astromech unit. Serving the Empire aboard the Death Star 2, R2-Q5 is fitted with devices that let his masters spy on those around him. Members of the Empire must be careful around him, as who knows who may be watching. This is R4M9. R4M9 is an astromech droid belonging to the Galactic Empire. It found itself aboard the Tantiv IV after the Star Destroyer it served on captured and breached the Rebellion ship. This is R4P17. R4P17 is the astromech that was assigned to Obi-Wan Kenobi when he embarked on his quest to locate the planet Kamino. She was present when the Jedi Master first learned of the clone army and was by his side numerous times during the ensuing Clone Wars. Let's hope we have arrived in time. This is R52JE. The self-proclaimed astromech captain, R52JE leads the pool of droids workers at the Ajan Kloss resistance base. Known to his peers as 2J, this feisty little droid dishes out orders and tasks to his team with extreme efficiency. This is R5-D4. R5-D4 is a stocky little astromech droid who encountered R2-D2 aboard the Jawa's Sandcrawler. R2's mission was almost halted before it had fully begun, as Owen Lars initially purchased R5 instead of R2-D2. However, R5 malfunctioned before the sale was final, and the rest is history. I'm gonna need you to scout ahead and analyze the atmosphere. There wasn't a question. This is R5-M2. R5-M2 is an astromech droid affiliated with the Rebel Alliance. Loyal and assiduous, R5 aided many rebels in their evacuation of Echo Base during the Empire's attack. This is C-3PO. Oh, hello. I am C-3PO. How may I be of assistance? Refurbished with scrap parts collected by Anakin Skywalker, C-3PO began his new life in the town of Mos Espa, on Tatooine. He is currently incomplete and void of an outer shell. However, his master intends on finishing his restoration in due time. This is C-3PO. Oh, hello. I am C-3PO. How may I be of assistance? C-3PO's adventures have spanned generations. Despite the protocol droid's penchant for worry and hysteria, 3PO is no stranger to danger. He survived not only the Clone Wars, but the Galactic Civil War and the rise of the First Order. Oh, that's lucky. Lucky indeed. This is C-3PO. Hello, I am C-3PO. 
How may I be of assistance? A faithful servant and loyal friend, C-3PO has traveled the galaxy and seen a vast array of action. With his best friend, R2-D2, this silver-legged droid continues to follow orders to the letter, even if it leads him to the middle of the desert. This is C-3PO. Hello, I am C-3PO. How may I be of assistance? Programming from the old Galactic Republic forbids C-3PO from speaking the ancient Sith language he translated from Ochi's dagger. To bypass that restriction, the droid smith Babu Frick must initiate a complete memory wipe. Only then may he speak the inscription. The Emperor's Wayfinder is in the Imperial Vault. This is E-3PO. E-3PO was a protocol droid designed for the Galactic Empire. Due to the unique interface module that was installed, E-3PO developed a rather snobbish personality. Whilst on Bespin, C-3PO encountered his Imperial counterpart and got a rather coarse reception. This is K-3PO. A 3PO series protocol droid serving at Echo Base on Hoth, K-3PO's primary responsibilities were to deliver messages and operate the announcement systems. He was most often found in the command center. This is ME-8D9. An ancient protocol droid with some interesting programming, ME-8D9 helps Maz Kanata deal with unruly patrons of her castle. Despite being an old model, ME-8D9 can take care of herself. Many of the regulars enjoy her company, but if they break one of Maz's rules, she won't hesitate to remove them. This is R-3PO. R-3PO is a protocol droid serving the Rebel Alliance in its war against the Galactic Empire. Present on Echo Base during the Empire's attack, R-3PO aided the rebels in their evacuation. This is RA-7. The RA-7 protocol droid is occasionally referred to as the insect droid due to its bug-like photoreceptors. This particular model of protocol droid was quite prevalent on the first Death Star, and the model became synonymous with the Empire from then on. This is TC-14. TC-14 is the silver protocol droid that had the honor of welcoming the Jedi ambassadors aboard the Trade Federation's flagship. Happy to serve, she lead Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi through the vessel to meet her masters. However, negotiations were short and did not go as planned. 